I'm from Central Louisiana. I wanted to make this video today to talk about two new interesting members of my family known as sugar gliders, or sugies as they're known on the internet. Sugar gliders come from Australia and New Guinea and go by the scientific name Pedorus breviceps. They are marsupials, so they carry their young in their pouch until they're fully developed. They're also nocturnal, so they sleep during the day and are awake most of the night. They live in the in nests of obtained adults and their offspring for the year. The purpose of this video is to talk about habitat and cages and show you the right from wrong to keep your new babies happy. This is Leo, my sweetest little man ever. Leo was born with a full coat of hair, but as he matured, he got a bald spot on the top of his head right there. And what this is, is a scent gland. Um, and this is just produces um, pheromones to either attract a mate or to mark their territory. Leo is a good example of what happens to sugar gliders when they're fed a bad diet. When I received Leo, he was on pellets and apples, and this is just not appropriate for sugar gliders. They don't eat pellets in the wild. There's no telling what's in that stuff. Um, look forward to a video later on about diets and how to make an appropriate diet for your sugar gliders. And now I'll introduce you to Piper. So this is Piper. Piper's my little female. You can tell she looks a lot different than Leo. Leo has the little bald spot, remember. Piper doesn't have a scent gland here. She has an actual pouch where her little babies go in. Uh, she's about six months old. Uh, I've had them for about two months or one and a half months. She's a pouch aggressive glider, so she doesn't really like when you put your hand in, your pou in her pouch or put your face in her pouch. Once she gets out of the pouch, she's a lot better. Um, I've been doing a lot of bonding with her. She still bites me. She doesn't bite that hard, but it's still startling. So if you have little kids, I wouldn't get sugar gliders unless you know that it's a nice, tame sugar glider. Um, I wouldn't recommend one like Piper, to be honest. She's going to take a long time to get used to me. I'll go ahead and get my starter cage and put them in it so you can see what that's like. So this is my starter cage. As you can tell, it's pretty small. Uh, this is not a cage that you would want to keep your sugar gliders in for the rest of their lives. Mine don't spend a lot of time in their cage, so it's pretty it's pretty decent for them for right now. I've been pricing cages, and the ones I want to get is probably about $150. So if you plan on getting sugar gliders, plan on spending a lot of money along with them. There's five things that you need to do in order to keep your sugar gliders happy in their cage. You need to keep it clean. You need to provide food and food dishes. You need to provide nesting materials toys and a place to climb and glide. Um, I usually have wooden dowels in here for them to run and play on. Right now they're being clean. Uh, there, there's different types of pouches, nesting materials that you can keep in your cage. This one's like a sling pouch and it just basically clips to the side of the cage um, and they get in it and sleep right in the pouch. And you can grab it out whenever you want them, you know, want bonding time. Uh, this is a cute, ca a cute pouch. They really like this one. This, this is their favorite one. Uh, and when you, I just wash them regularly, but you don't want to wash them too much because they'll just go around scent marking. Toys, I basically just go to the dollar store uh, and I keep toys like this. Uh, this is a cat toy. It has a little rattle in it. It comes with feathers on it. Mine really like feathers to play with. They think it's an animal. They're little predators. <laughs> um, but that's basically it as far as habitat and cages go. It's, per it's basically personal preference. If you go shopping for a cage, get whatever is suitable to, to you. My cage has like a little slide out drawer on the bottom so you can change the, the newspaper. And this is one of my big, big pet peeves. Um, if the cage doesn't have a slide out bottom, I don't want it. I really hope that you enjoyed my videos. Um, look forward to more videos on diet and other things. 
Uh, and I hope you enjoyed me, Piper and Leo. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And stay tuned for more.